Welcome to the HFY Tales channel. Remember to like and subscribe if you like the story. Enjoy and take care. The dim lights of the Draxia black market buzzed and flickered, casting strange shadows over the bustling crowds. Merchants and buyers mingled in haphazard stalls and darkened alcoves. Their voices a constant hum beneath the sharp bartering and occasional clash of metal. The air was thick with the smell of burning fuel and the faint scent of rare herbs, filling the place with an exotic, unsettling aroma. Lucas Gray had never felt at ease in places like this, though he'd visited his fair share. As he moved through the throng, his posture was relaxed, but his gaze sharp, cataloging every face, every sound. He didn't want to be here, but debts and favors in this part of the galaxy had a way of calling in their dues, regardless of preference. This particular job, trading information with a local contact, was supposed to be straightforward, or so he'd been told. A shiver of unease ran down his spine as he passed by a small, crowded arena where bets were being placed on a bloodied brawl between two alien fighters. Lucas felt the weight of each credit he carried in his pocket, a small fortune earned from grueling years in the military and mercenary work. It was meant for something better, he thought bitterly, than this pit of depravity. He continued, attempting to blend in, when a hushed murmur caught his attention. Special auction tonight. Rare goods, a greasy-looking merchant whispered to a shrouded figure. Lucas hesitated. His curiosity peaked despite himself. He'd seen nearly every kind of illicit goods sold in these markets, but the merchant's hushed tone spoke of something different, something almost forbidden. Following the source of the whispers, Lucas found himself on the outskirts of a gathering crowd, their eager faces reflecting a twisted anticipation. As he peered over a few heads, he saw the reason for their excitement. A raised platform with a thick, shimmering chain in the middle, tethered to a delicate figure with striking, luminous eyes that seemed to cut through the shadows. She was unlike anything he'd ever seen, a creature of elegance and grace, even in captivity. Her silver skin shimmered under the dim lights, and her hair, a cascade of white and blue, floated softly around her like a veil. The silent resignation in her eyes was more haunting than any outcry could have been. The merchant began announcing her in a loud, oily voice. Behold, a rare Lyrielian slave, captured in the far reaches of Lyra Prime, perfect for personal service, or perhaps something a bit more intimate. He smirked, reveling in the disturbing excitement of the crowd. Lucas's fists clenched. He hadn't planned on intervening in anything today. His mission was simply to get his information and leave. But as his gaze locked with hers, a strange pull formed in his chest, something beyond mere sympathy. It was almost as though he could feel her silent plea through the crowd, a wordless cry that resonated deeply within him. Without thinking, he stepped forward, his voice steady and cold. What's the starting bid? A hush fell over the crowd. Several heads turned, and the merchant grinned his eyes glinting with greed as he announced an exorbitant sum. Other interested buyers glanced at Lucas with disdain, recognizing him as an outsider, a human, and most assumed he'd back down quickly. But Lucas was done second-guessing himself, raising his hand. He matched the bid, his tone challenging anyone else to step forward. For a tense moment, there was silence. And then, as if resigned to fate, no one else dared to raise the offer. The merchant smirked, pleased, and signaled for Lucas to approach the stage. Lucas held his breath as he stepped forward, every instinct telling him he'd just crossed a line he could never uncross. But as the chain was placed in his hand, and he looked into the alien woman's eyes once more, he felt a strange sense of calm, as if he'd just made the right decision in a universe filled with wrong ones. Lucas could feel the weight of the chain in his hand as he led the alien woman away from the platform. Each step through the crowded market felt like threading a needle, wary of the gazes and muttered curses from the frustrated bidders who'd wanted her for themselves. He kept his shoulders squared, his posture projecting the kind of quiet authority that kept opportunists at bay. As they reached the edge of the market, Lucas slowed, glancing at her sidelong. She was silent, walking gracefully even in chains, but her eyes, vivid, shifting hues of silver and pale blue, seemed to take in every detail around them, assessing, analyzing, 
Despite her calm exterior, he could sense an undercurrent of tension radiating from her, as though she were a coiled spring waiting for the right moment to snap. He stopped in a shadowed alley and turned to face her. I don't know if you can understand me, he began, his voice low but steady. But I need you to trust me. I'm getting us out of here. Her eyes widened slightly, her lips parting as if in surprise, before she quickly composed herself. After a moment, she nodded, her expression still cautious but laced with curiosity. Lucas took a careful step back, loosening his grip on the chain as a show of goodwill. What's your name? He asked gently. She hesitated, then spoke in a voice that was soft but clear, each word carefully enunciated. Aliera. The sound of her voice was like music, each syllable carrying a melody foreign yet beautiful. Aliera, he repeated, noting the way her gaze softened slightly when he said her name. I'm Lucas. You're safe with me. For a fleeting moment, he thought he saw relief in her expression, but it quickly shifted back to wary detachment. They didn't have time for long introductions. Not with the hostile stares and lingering presence of those who still might try to reclaim her. Taking her by the hand, this time gently, he guided her through the back alleys toward the port where his ship, the Starlet Vanguard, waited. Just as they neared the port's entrance, Aliera tensed, her grip tightening on his hand. Wait, she whispered, her voice trembling. Before he could ask what was wrong, a group of rough-looking men rounded the corner ahead of them, blocking their path. One of them, a large Zerk warrior with metallic skin and cold, piercing eyes, stepped forward. That Lyrielian was not for you, human. She belongs to those who appreciate her value. Lucas's jaw clenched, his fingers twitching toward the blaster at his hip. He positioned himself slightly in front of Aliera, his stance protective. She belongs to no one. Move aside, he said, his voice as cold as the void of space. The Zerk and his companion sneered, their expressions twisted with malice. Bold words for a human in the wrong part of town. Hand her over, and we won't have to make this messy. Lucas could feel Aliera's fingers tighten on his arm, her breath catching. He knew they were outnumbered, but he also knew he wasn't about to hand her over. Not now, not ever. Last chance he said, his voice steady. Or this ends badly for you. The Zerk let out a mocking laugh, stepping forward as if to challenge him, only to freeze as Lucas drew his blaster with lightning speed. The barrel aimed squarely at the alien's chest. Move, Lucas repeated, his tone leaving no room for negotiation. For a moment, it seemed as though the men would press their luck, but something in Lucas's eyes, or perhaps the cold confidence in his voice, made them reconsider. With a snarl of frustration, the Zerk stepped back, motioning for his companions to let them pass. Lucas didn't waste a second. Keeping a firm grip on Aliara's hand, he led her swiftly through the port entrance, past the docking bays, and onto the familiar, worn metal ramp of the Starlet Vanguard. As they boarded, he sealed the hatch behind them, finally able to breathe a sigh of relief. Aliara looked around the interior of the ship, her eyes wide with awe and trepidation. She traced her fingers along the control panel, her curiosity barely masked by the remnants of her fear. Lucas leaned against the wall, watching her quietly. This ship's safe. You're free here. No one's going to harm you. Aliera turned to him, her gaze intense, as if searching for any hint of deceit. Why did you help me? She asked softly, the weight of her question hanging in the air. Lucas considered his answer, his gaze dropping to the floor. I, I couldn't just watch. No one deserves to be treated like that. She studied him for a long moment, her expression unreadable, before a small, almost imperceptible smile touched her lips. Thank you, Lucas. Her gratitude, simple yet profound, stirred something within him, a sense of purpose he hadn't felt in years. In that moment, he knew he'd made the right choice. And he also knew that, regardless of the consequences, he wouldn't let anyone take her from him again. Lucas guided Aliera to the ship's main cabin, keeping an ear out for any sounds that might indicate a breach or pursuit. The Starlet Vanguard was an old but reliable vessel, 
sturdy and deceptively swift, a perfect refuge for anyone needing to slip out of hostile territory unnoticed. But he knew that the black market crowd might not give up so easily, especially given Eliara's unique background. Once they were safely inside the cabin, Lucas turned to the navigation console and began plotting a course out of Draxia Sector. With practiced hands, he input coordinates for a neighboring, neutral zone where they could rest and regroup. Aliera lingered nearby, her movements quiet and graceful, though her eyes still held a hint of trepidation as she took in her surroundings. Lucas noticed the way her gaze would dart to him, cautious yet curious, as if she were trying to piece together what kind of man he truly was. After a moment, he broke the silence. We should be out of here soon. They might try to track us, but I know a few routes that should keep us hidden. She nodded, absorbing his words before speaking. I, I don't mean to doubt you, Lucas, but you did something that most would never consider. Why, truly. Her voice was gentle, but her eyes held a sharpness that suggested she'd learned the hard way not to take kindness at face value. Lucas paused, choosing his words carefully. I've done things I'm not proud of, he admitted, his voice low. But watching you up there, bound and helpless, it reminded me of the worst parts of this universe. Things I thought I'd become numb to, but I couldn't stand by. You deserved a chance to be free, not sold to the highest bidder. Aliara's gaze softened, and for the first time, Lucas saw a glimmer of relief in her expression. She took a cautious step closer, her slender frame seeming even more delicate against the stark metal interior of the ship. Thank you, she said, her voice barely a whisper. I didn't think, I didn't think anyone would care enough to try. Lucas felt an unexpected surge of protectiveness as he watched her. He took a deep breath, his resolve hardening. No one's going to take you again, Aliera. Not while I'm here. Just then, the ship's alert system blared, indicating an incoming transmission. Lucas's fingers flew over the console, pulling up the message. The screen crackled to life, displaying the sneering face of a familiar figure, Varric, an infamous bounty hunter who operated out of Draxia and had a reputation for ruthlessness. Gray, Varric drawled his gaze flicking dismissively over Lucas before settling with disturbing intensity on Aliera. You've got something that doesn't belong to you. Hand over the Lyrielian, and I might consider letting you live. Lucas's jaw tightened, his fingers flexing as he resisted the urge to reach for his blaster, even through the screen. You know me better than that, Varric. I don't respond well to threats. Varric chuckled, his laughter cold and humorless. Then you're as much of a fool as ever. That girl is worth a fortune, and I have buyers lined up willing to pay whatever it takes. Turn her over, or you'll find yourself on the wrong end of a plasma cannon. Lucas glanced at Aliera, who was watching the screen with a mixture of fear and defiance. He placed a reassuring hand on her shoulder, meeting her gaze with a confidence he hoped she could feel. Tell your buyers to find another prophet, Lucas said, his voice steely. This one's going free. Varek's smirk faded, his eyes narrowing with dangerous intent. Suit yourself, Gray. Just know that when I catch up to you, it won't be pleasant. With a final sneer, Varek ended the transmission, leaving the cabin filled with tense silence. Aliera turned to Lucas, her expression a mixture of fear and determination. He won't stop, she murmured. He's ruthless. I know. Lucas replied, his voice calm. But so am I when I need to be. He turned his attention back to the navigation console, making a few quick adjustments. We're heading to the neutral zone. It's not exactly paradise, but it'll give us a chance to hide and plan our next move. Aliera watched him, her guarded expression softening slightly. I don't know if I'll ever be able to repay you for this, Lucas. He shook his head. You don't owe me anything. Freedom isn't something you should have to earn. For the first time since they'd boarded the ship, Aliera allowed herself a small smile, a faint but genuine expression of gratitude. Lucas couldn't help but return it, feeling an unexpected warmth settle in his chest. He turned back to the controls, initiating the launch sequence. Hold tight, he said, feeling the familiar hum of the ship's engines as they prepared to take off. We're getting out of here. 
and we're not looking back. The starlit vanguard lifted off smoothly, soaring away from the crowded black market of Draxia and into the open expanse of space. As they left the hostile atmosphere behind, Lucas felt a renewed sense of purpose, a determination to protect Aliera and ensure her freedom, no matter the cost. As they sailed into the stars, Lucas couldn't shake the feeling that his life had taken a turn he hadn't expected, and somehow, he didn't mind at all. The starlit vanguard drifted through the silence of space, leaving behind the distant lights of Draxia. Inside, the ship hummed with a steady rhythm, a comforting sound that Lucas had long associated with the feeling of home. Aliera sat in the co-pilot's seat, her fingers tracing the edges of the control panel as if memorizing the textures and contours of this new sanctuary. Lucas stole a glance at her, noting how her eyes seemed less guarded than they had back in the market. Here, away from the prying eyes and threats of captors, she appeared more at ease, though still somewhat cautious. Her alien features were strikingly beautiful, but it was her eyes, reflecting shades of blue and silver, that held his attention. He could see so many layers of emotion there, relief, curiosity, and buried beneath it all, a quiet, simmering sadness. You don't have to stay up here, you know, he said gently, breaking the silence. The cabin's got a med bay, and there's a spare room you can use to rest. Aliera looked at him, her lips parting as if she wanted to say something, but then she hesitated. After a moment, she nodded. I could use a moment to myself, she admitted softly. Lucas stood, gesturing for her to follow. He led her down the narrow corridor of the ship, stopping outside a small, private cabin. It was modest but clean, the kind of room meant for short stays, though it had everything she would need to rest comfortably. This room is yours for as long as you need it, he said, watching her as she took in the sparse furnishings. And if you're injured, let me know. I've got basic medical supplies on board. She nodded, stepping into the room slowly, as though testing its safety. Thank you, Lucas, she murmured, her voice carrying a hint of vulnerability that pulled at his heart. He took a step back, sensing she needed space. Get some rest, he said, offering her a faint smile before closing the door softly behind him. In the quiet of her new quarters, Aliera sank onto the edge of the cot the thin mattress yielding under her weight. She ran her hands over the smooth fabric, marveling at the softness. For so long, she had been held in chains, forced to sleep on cold, hard surfaces. Now, the simple comfort of a bed felt almost surreal. Her mind drifted back to Lucas, his steady gaze, his protective stance, the way he'd stood between her and danger without hesitation. He was unlike any human she'd encountered in her brief, painful exposure to the galaxy beyond her home. There was a kindness to him, something raw and genuine that made her want to trust him. After a few moments, she lay back, allowing her eyes to close as exhaustion overtook her. For the first time in what felt like an eternity, Aliera felt a glimmer of safety. Sleep came easily her dreams filled with images of her homeland, of freedom, and, surprisingly, of Lucas's warm, steady presence. Hours later, Lucas sat in the cockpit, monitoring their progress as they approached the neutral zone. He'd programmed the autopilot but felt a need to stay alert, his mind buzzing with thoughts of their next steps. The galaxy was vast, but he knew that Varric and his buyers wouldn't give up easily. Protecting Aliera would take every ounce of skill and cunning he possessed. A quiet sound from behind him made him turn. Aliera stood in the doorway, her silver eyes soft in the dim light of the control panel. She seemed less guarded, her expression more open as she approached him. Did you sleep well? he asked, his voice low, respectful. She nodded, a small smile playing at the corners of her lips. Yes, better than I have in a long time. Her gaze drifted to the stars outside the viewport. This ship, it feels like a haven somehow. It's seen a lot of things, Lucas replied with a faint chuckle, but it's always been a good place to disappear for a while. She looked at him, her gaze steady. You're a mercenary, aren't you? Lucas paused, caught slightly off guard by her question. I was, used to be in the military, 
then did mercenary work for a few years. But it didn't feel right after a while. Why did you leave? She asked, her voice gentle, as though she could sense the weight of the question. He hesitated, feeling a flicker of old memories, the battles, the faces he could never forget, the weight of decisions that had scarred him. I guess I got tired of hurting people, he said finally, his voice quiet. I thought maybe I could do something different, find a way to make things better instead of worse. Aliera regarded him thoughtfully, her eyes reflecting a deep understanding. It's hard to find kindness in a galaxy like this. But you saved me, Lucas. That was more than kindness. Her words hung in the air, filling him with a strange sense of peace. He met her gaze, his voice soft. You deserve better than what they were offering you. No one deserves to be treated like that. Aliera stepped closer, her hand reaching out to lightly touch his. The warmth of her fingers sent a jolt through him, an unexpected connection that made him hold his breath. She seemed to notice his reaction, a faint blush coloring her silver cheeks. Thank you, she whispered, her gaze unwavering. For everything. Lucas felt his throat tighten, an unfamiliar warmth spreading through him. He squeezed her hand gently, feeling an intense protectiveness welling up inside him. I'll keep you safe, Aliera. I promise. They stood like that for a long moment, their fingers entwined, their unspoken emotions flowing between them in the quiet hum of the cockpit. And in that silent space, a bond began to form, a fragile but undeniable connection that neither of them could ignore. The sound of an alert broke the moment, drawing their attention back to the controls. Lucas checked the screen, his jaw tightening as he read the incoming transmission. It's from the Neutral Zone Authority, he murmured. Looks like we'll need clearance to enter. They're being cautious, probably because of Varek and his crew. Aliara's gaze hardened slightly, her grip on his hand tightening. Do you think they'll let us in? Lucas gave her a reassuring smile. I'll handle it. Trust me. She nodded, her faith in him unmistakable. And for the first time in a long while, Lucas felt a sense of purpose, a reason to fight beyond mere survival. As he prepared the ship for clearance, he couldn't shake the feeling that Aliera's arrival in his life had set him on a new path, a path he was more than willing to follow. The Starlet Vanguard drifted slowly toward the neutral zone, where space stations dotted the sector like beacons in the dark. Lucas had secured clearance for them to dock at Galen's Rest, a haven for refugees, outcasts, and those who sought safety from the darker forces lurking in the galaxy. It wasn't luxurious by any stretch, but it was secure, and that was all they needed for now. Aliera stood beside him in the cockpit, her posture a mixture of calm and tension. She stared out at the vast expanse of stars, her expression pensive, as though each distant light held memories of a life left behind. They finally ducked, and after handling the usual security protocols and checking for any tracking signals, Lucas led her to the ship's common area a modest space with a worn couch, a small kitchenette, and a table scattered with maps and tools. Aliera took a seat, her hands folded in her lap, her gaze distant. Lucas leaned back, crossing his arms as he regarded her. He could sense that she was holding back, that there were parts of her story still untold. He wanted to know more, to understand her world and what had led her here, but he didn't want to press too hard. After a long silence, Aliera began to speak, her voice quiet, tinged with a sadness he hadn't heard before. My home, Lyra Prime, it was beautiful. Lush forests, rivers that shimmered under twin moons. Our people, Lyrielians. We lived in harmony with our planet, drawing energy from its life force. Lucas listened intently, picturing the vibrant world she described. It sounds incredible he murmured. Aliera nodded, a faint smile appearing briefly before fading. It was. We were a peaceful people, focused on knowledge, art, and healing. We had no use for weapons, no understanding of war. But that made us vulnerable. She paused, her gaze dropping to her hands as she twisted her fingers together. Slavers discovered our world. At first, they came in small numbers, taking our people one by one slipping away before we understood what was happening. By the time we realized the danger, 
It was too late. Lucas felt a surge of anger, a simmering rage at the thought of anyone preying on the innocent for profit, and no one tried to stop them. We tried, she said, her voice thick with grief. Our leaders sought help, but no one answered. We were seen as too primitive, too isolated. We didn't fit into the interests of those who could have protected us, and so we were taken. Aliara's shoulders slumped, and Lucas felt his heart twist as he watched her struggle with the weight of her memories. He reached out, placing a comforting hand on hers. I'm sorry, Aliara. No one should have to go through that. She looked up at him, her eyes filled with gratitude and sorrow. Thank you. I haven't spoken of this to anyone. I learned to stay silent, to obey, hoping that one day I might find a way to escape. But as the years went on, I began to lose hope. Lucas squeezed her hand gently, his voice firm. You're not alone anymore. I won't let them hurt you. Aliara's expression softened, a small spark of warmth flickering in her eyes. I believe you, Lucas. You've already done so much more than anyone ever has. They sat together in silence for a moment, their fingers entwined. Lucas felt an unfamiliar but welcome warmth in his chest, a quiet but powerful sense of purpose. Protecting her had become more than just an act of compassion. It felt like something he was meant to do. As they sat there, Aliara's voice broke the silence again. I didn't just want to escape for myself. I wanted to return to Lyra Prime, to free my people. Many of them are still out there, scattered across the galaxy, enslaved and alone. Lucas felt the weight of her words, understanding the enormity of her desire. Freeing her people wasn't just a dream. It was a mission of her calling. And somehow, in that moment, he knew he couldn't turn away from it. He met her gaze, his voice resolute. Then we'll find a way, whatever it takes. Aliara's eyes widened slightly, and she leaned toward him, her voice filled with a mixture of hope and disbelief. You would help me with that. Lucas nodded, his gaze steady. I don't know how yet, but I won't leave you to fight this alone. For a moment, Aliera was silent, her expression filled with emotions too complex to name. Then, slowly, she leaned forward, her head resting lightly on his shoulder. Lucas's heart raced at the unexpected closeness, but he didn't pull away. Instead, he placed a gentle hand on her back, feeling the rise and fall of her breath. Thank you, Lucas, she whispered, for everything. As they sat together, a quiet understanding passed between them, a shared determination, a promise of loyalty and protection. Lucas knew that their journey would not be easy, but he was ready to face whatever lay ahead, as long as he had Aliera by his side. The quiet moments they shared in the common area were short-lived. The Starlet Vanguard security system chimed, alerting Lucas to an approaching ship. He straightened, his expression instantly turning from tender to vigilant. What is it? Aliera asked, sensing his tension. We've got company, Lucas said, moving quickly to the cockpit to check the scanners. He pulled up the readings, frowning as the approaching ship's signature came into view. It was a mercenary vessel, a sleek, deadly craft, heavily armed and unmistakable in its markings. Vorek. The bounty hunter hadn't wasted any time. Lucas clenched his jaw. He'd known that freeing Aliera wouldn't go unanswered but he'd hoped for a bit more time to prepare. He glanced over his shoulder at Aliera, who had followed him to the cockpit, her face pale but resolute. Is it him? She asked, her voice steady despite the fear in her eyes. Yeah, Lucas replied, his tone grim. Varek's a tenacious one. He doesn't back down easily. Aliera took a deep breath, her eyes narrowing in determination. Then we'll fight. Lucas couldn't help but feel a surge of pride at her courage, even in the face of danger. She was stronger than she appeared, stronger than he'd even realized. He activated the ship's shields and fired up the engines, steering them away from Galen's rest and deeper into open space. Hold on tight, he said, sparing her a brief glance. This is going to get rough. Just as he finished speaking, Varric's ship fired the first shot a blinding blast of plasma that rocked the starlit vanguard's hull. Alarms blared as the shields absorbed the impact, 
But Lucas knew they couldn't withstand many more hits like that. He swerved, maneuvering the ship through a series of evasive maneuvers, narrowly dodging another blast. Varric's voice crackled over the comms, dripping with mocking confidence. Gray, you really think you can outrun me? Hand over the girl, and I might let you live. Lucas hit the comm switch, his voice cold. You're wasting your time, Varric. Aliaris not going back with you. Varric's laughter filled the cockpit, a harsh, taunting sound. You're risking everything for a slave, Gray. Do you even know her worth? Lucas's eyes flicked to Aliara, who was staring at the comm with a fierce, unwavering gaze. I know enough, he replied firmly, and it's worth more than whatever you're offering. Varric's voice turned icy. Then you've signed your own death warrant. With that, he cut the transmission, and the chase resumed in earnest. Varric's ship loomed behind them, its weapons blazing as Lucas skillfully dodged, weaving through asteroid fields and around debris left from forgotten battles. Each evasive maneuver bought them precious seconds, but Lucas knew they couldn't keep running forever. Aliera gripped the edge of her seat, her eyes fixed on the viewport as the stars blurred past them. She could feel Lucas's determination, his unwavering focus as he piloted them through the chaos. Yet beneath her fear, a spark of courage burned. Lucas, she said, her voice calm. I can help. He glanced at her, momentarily surprised. How? Aliera looked down. Her expression conflicted. I have abilities. Telepathic ones. They're part of my species, but I haven't used them in years. I could try to reach him, distract him. Lucas hesitated. The idea of Aliera exposing herself to Varric's mind was risky, especially with a bounty hunter as ruthless as him. But he could see the determination in her eyes, the desire to fight back in her own way. Are you sure? he asked, his voice filled with concern. She nodded, her expression resolute. I won't let him take me again. Lucas nodded, giving her an encouraging look. Then do what you need to. I'll handle the ship. Aliera closed her eyes, focusing, her breathing steadying as she reached out with her mind. She searched for Varric's presence, feeling his cold, calculating thoughts like a dark cloud in the distance. Her connection grew stronger, slipping through his mental defenses, and she sent him a wave of confusion, mingled with images of doubt and uncertainty. On the scanners, Lucas watched as Varric's ship faltered slightly, its movements becoming erratic. The bounty hunter's concentration was slipping, and Lucas seized the opportunity. He aimed the vanguard's weapons and fired a precise shot at Varric's engines, a powerful blast that left a smoking trail in its wake. Aliera opened her eyes, gasping as she broke the connection. Her face was pale, and she looked slightly shaken, but there was a spark of triumph in her gaze. Did it work? Lucas grinned, nodding. More than you know. Varric's ship was damaged, forced to pull back as smoke billowed from the engines. He was still functional, but the hit had slowed him down, giving Lucas and Aliera the chance they needed to escape. Lucas didn't hesitate, steering the Starlet Vanguard away from Varric's disabled vessel and pushing the engines to full power. They shot forward, leaving the mercenary behind as the stars streaked past them in a blur. For now, they were safe. As the tension began to fade, Lucas turned to Aliera, his gaze filled with admiration. That was incredible, Aliera. You bought us the time we needed. She managed a small smile, though her exhaustion was evident. I just, I didn't want to be helpless again. I couldn't let him win. Lucas placed a gentle hand on her shoulder, his voice soft. You're anything but helpless. What you did back there that took courage. Her gaze softened, and for a moment, they shared a quiet, Meaningful look. Aliera felt a warmth spread through her, a sense of belonging that she hadn't felt since her home had been taken from her. Lucas was more than just her savior. He was becoming her ally, her friend, and perhaps something more. Thank you, she whispered, her voice filled with gratitude. They sat together in silence for a few moments, the only sound the soft hum of the engines as they continued their journey. The danger wasn't over and Varric would surely come after them again. But for now, they had each other, and that was enough. Lucas took a deep breath, 
his mind racing with thoughts of their next steps. We'll need to be more careful from here on out, he said. Varric won't give up easily, but I'll find us a place to lay low, regroup, and plan our next move. Aliera nodded, her resolve strengthening. I'm ready. Whatever comes, I'm not running anymore. Lucas's gaze softened, and he felt a renewed sense of determination. Together, they would face whatever the galaxy threw their way. And for the first time in a long time, he felt a glimmer of hope. A hope that, no matter how dark the journey, they might find their way to something better. With Varek left damaged and trailing behind in the distance, the Starlet Vanguard slipped into a calmer stretch of space. Lucas charted a course to a remote star system on the edge of known space, where they could find a quiet refuge. It would be an ideal place to lay low, far from the galactic trade routes and bounty hunters' radar. As the adrenaline of the chase faded, the quietness of the ship settled around them. Aliera remained in the cockpit with Lucas, her breathing finally slowing. She gazed out at the stars, her silver eyes reflecting the vast expanse. But her thoughts seemed far away, lost in memories of Lyra Prime, of captivity, and perhaps of her newfound freedom. Are you all right? Lucas asked, breaking the silence. She looked over at him, her expression softer, her voice steady, but carrying an unspoken vulnerability. Yes, I'm better than I expected. She paused, gathering her thoughts. It feels strange to be safe, to finally feel as though I have a choice. Her word struck Lucas, and he felt an ache of sympathy. He had seen many horrors in his years as a soldier and a mercenary. But the weight of her story, the captivity, the isolation, the loss, was something that stirred a protective instinct within him. You do have a choice, he said gently, and whatever happens, you don't have to face it alone. She smiled faintly, her gaze drifting down as if gathering courage. I never thought I'd meet someone who would be willing to protect me, someone who would give up so much to save me. Her words hung in the air and Lucas felt his pulse quicken. There was an intensity in her gaze, a closeness that neither of them had dared to fully acknowledge until now. I didn't have a choice, he said softly, his voice barely above a whisper. Not when I saw you up there. Something in me just... I had to do something. Aliara's expression softened, her hand reaching out instinctively, her fingers brushing his. Lucas held his breath his heart pounding as the warmth of her touch sent a shiver through him. He hadn't expected this, a bond, an undeniable connection that went beyond mere gratitude. She looked up at him, her eyes reflecting a mixture of gratitude, admiration, and something else, something deeper. Lucas, you're different from anyone I've ever met, she murmured. You've given me hope when I'd almost forgotten what it felt like. His hand tightened around hers a gesture that felt both protective and intimate. I'm just a man trying to do the right thing, he replied quietly, though he knew it was more than that. Protecting Aliera had become personal, more than a mission, more than a responsibility. They were close, so close that he could feel her breath, see the slight flush of color on her cheeks. Aliera leaned forward, her gaze lingering on his, searching his eyes as though she were looking for permission, for reassurance. Without another word, she closed the distance between them, her lips brushing his in a soft, hesitant kiss. Lucas's breath caught, his pulse racing as he returned the kiss, his hand reaching up to cup her face gently, the warmth of her skin, the softness of her touch. It felt like something he had been missing, something he hadn't realized he'd longed for until now. The kiss deepened, and for a moment, they allowed themselves to let go to surrender to the emotions that had been building between them. It was a quiet, tender moment, free from fear, from the weight of the past. They were simply two souls, finding solace in one another, lost in the stillness of space. When they finally broke apart, Aliara's eyes shone with a mixture of surprise and joy, as though she hadn't dared to believe such a connection could exist. Thank you, Lucas, she whispered, her voice filled with emotion for reminding me that I can feel something more than fear. He brushed a stray strand of her hair from her face, his gaze filled with warmth. I'll remind you as many times as it takes, Aliera. 
They sat together in comfortable silence, her head resting on his shoulder, his arm wrapped protectively around her, the stars stretched out before them, an endless horizon of possibilities, and for the first time in years, Lucas felt as though he were exactly where he was meant to be. But as the moments passed, a quiet resolve began to form within them. They couldn't remain in this peaceful bubble forever. Varek was still out there, and Aliara's people remained enslaved across the galaxy. The time for quiet comfort would end soon. I want to help free my people, Aliara murmured, her voice filled with determination. I can't live in freedom knowing that so many others are still suffering. Lucas nodded, his voice resolute. Then that's what we'll do. We'll find a way to bring them home. Aliara's eyes sparkled with gratitude and determination. She placed her hand over his heart, feeling its steady beat. Together, together, he affirmed, his voice steady. In that moment, they both understood that their journey had only just begun. Their bond, born of trust and forged in the fires of danger, had become a beacon of hope, a guiding light that would lead them through the darkest of paths. As the starlit vanguard continued its journey through the stars, Lucas and Aliera sat side by side, united by a shared purpose and a love that would see them through whatever challenges lay ahead. The starlit vanguard drifted silently through space, far from any known trade routes or inhabited systems. Here, in the quiet emptiness, Lucas and Aliera could breathe, think, and begin to plan their next move. The shared tenderness of their kiss lingered between them, unspoken but understood, strengthening the bond that had formed so quickly, yet felt so natural. Lucas leaned over the navigation console, mapping potential routes and tracing the locations of known slave trading posts and slaver-controlled territories. Aliera sat nearby, her gaze focused on the star map as if trying to visualize the path ahead. We can't go after them all at once, Lucas said his tone practical but firm. If we make too much noise, they'll be ready for us. But if we start small, free a few of your people here, and there, we might be able to build a resistance. Aliera nodded thoughtfully, her fingers brushing her chin as she considered his words. There are still those among my people who haven't been broken by captivity. If we can free them, they would join us. Many are healers, scholars, but some were once warriors, protectors of our kind. Lucas's gaze flicked to her, impressed. You have warriors. Aliera smiled faintly. Before the slavers came, we were a peaceful people, yes. But we knew how to protect ourselves when the time called for it. I knew many of them well, friends, mentors, even family. They would fight for our freedom if given the chance. The mention of her family softened Lucas's expression. He reached out, covering her hand with his, a quiet gesture of comfort. Do you, do you have any family left? Aliera looked down, her voice quiet. My father was one of our greatest scholars, my mother a healer. Both of them were taken, and I lost contact with them long ago. I don't know if they're alive, but I still feel them somehow, as if they're waiting, hoping for a miracle. Lucas squeezed her hand gently. Then let's be that miracle, Aliera. For them, for all of your people. She met his gaze her eyes filled with gratitude and a spark of determination. Thank you, Lucas. Ah, I don't know what I would do without you. They held each other's gaze, a quiet understanding passing between them. But just as they were about to continue discussing their plan, the ship's alert system beeped, signaling an incoming transmission. Lucas's shoulders tensed as he moved to the console, pulling up the message. It was from Captain Zorin the leader of the neutral zone security fleet, a grizzled old mercenary Lucas knew from his military days. The captain's face appeared on the screen, his expression serious but respectful. Gray, Zorin greeted him, nodding in acknowledgement. Word spreading that you've got something valuable on board. The bounty hunters and slave traders aren't pleased. They've been sniffing around Galen's rest, asking questions. Lucas's jaw tightened. Thanks for the warning, Zorin. I didn't plan to stick around long anyway. Zorin grunted, his gaze shifting to Aliera, who watched him with wary eyes. Listen, Gray, I don't know what kind of trouble you're in, but if you're planning something big, you'd better be careful. These slavers have deep connections 
and they don't take kindly to people messing with their business. Lucas nodded, a hint of a smile playing at the corners of his mouth. I never did have a knack for staying out of trouble. Zoran chuckled, though there was a grim note in his laughter. Just watch yourself, Gray. I'd hate to see you end up on the wrong side of a plasma cannon. Good luck. The transmission ended, leaving a heavy silence in its wake. Lucas turned to Aliera, his expression firm. If we're going to take them on, we'll need more than just luck. We'll need allies. Aliera nodded thoughtfully. There are other planets, other species who oppose the slavers and their cruelty. Perhaps if we reached out, we could find those willing to help. Lucas leaned back, crossing his arms. Do you know anyone specifically? Any contacts? Maybe from your time in captivity? Aliera hesitated, her gaze shifting as she recalled distant memories. There was someone, a Talaran named Kalen. He was a captive in the same sector as me, a resistance fighter from his homeworld. He spoke often of freedom, of rebellion. If he's still alive, he would be a powerful ally. Lucas nodded, noting the name and filing it away. Then Kalen is our first lead. We'll start by tracking him down, see if he's still out there. If he is, we'll bring him on board. They spent the next few hours mapping potential locations, analyzing known slave routes, and discussing tactics. Aliera shared everything she knew about the slaver's operations, her knowledge invaluable in piecing together a plan. Lucas could feel their resolve strengthening with each step, a sense of purpose filling the small space of the cockpit. Finally, as the stars shifted outside the viewport and the silence of space settled around them once more, they took a moment to rest. Aliera leaned back, her gaze drifting to Lucas, a soft smile on her lips. We've come so far in such a short time, she murmured. I never thought I would have this chance. Lucas looked at her, his voice filled with quiet determination. And we're only getting started, Aliera. She reached out, taking his hand, her fingers intertwining with his. Thank you, Lucas, for everything. I never thought I'd find someone willing to fight for me, to believe in this cause. He squeezed her hand gently, his gaze steady. I believe in you, Aliera, and I believe in what we're fighting for. They shared a quiet, tender moment, their hands entwined, their gazes locked. In that moment, Lucas knew that whatever challenges lay ahead, he would face them with her by his side, and together they would find the strength to free her people and bring justice to the darkest corners of the galaxy. As they prepared to set out on their new course, Lucas felt a sense of purpose he hadn't felt in years, a purpose born not from duty or obligation, but from love, loyalty, and a shared dream of freedom. The starlit vanguard cut through the darkness of space, its engines humming steadily as Lucas and Aliera approached their next destination. Marek's Hold, a desolate moon used by slavers as a central hub for their operations. Aliera's contact, Kalen, was rumored to be held here, forced to work under constant surveillance alongside hundreds of other captives. Lucas's jaw was set as he steered the ship toward the moon's dark side, where the prison's infrastructure would offer the best chance for a covert entry. Beside him, Aliera was silent, her eyes hard with resolve. This was it, the beginning of their mission, the moment they would strike their first blow against the slavers and set in motion the liberation of her people. As they approached, Lucas activated the ship's cloaking system, slipping them beneath the radar of the station's defense systems. They would have only one shot at this. Any mistake could end with both of them captured or worse. We'll land here, Lucas said pointing to a stretch of rocky terrain near the base's perimeter. From there, we can slip through the back entry used for supply runs. Once we're inside, we'll have to move fast. Aliera nodded, her hand unconsciously tightening around the small blaster Lucas had given her earlier. She took a deep breath, her face a mixture of determination and nerves. I'm ready. He placed a hand on her shoulder, his gaze steady. Stick close to me. We'll get Kalen out, and as many others as we can. They donned their gear and exited the ship, moving quickly and silently across the barren landscape. The base loomed ahead, a stark structure of metal and concrete, surrounded by a field of high, razor-sharp barriers. 
Aliara's face hardened as they approached, the memories of her own captivity surfacing with every step, but she pushed them aside, focusing on the task at hand. They reached the access point, slipping through a hidden entry used by supply crews. Once inside, they found themselves in a dimly lit corridor, the walls lined with rusted metal and exposed wires. The air was stale, thick with the scent of confinement and misery. Aliara's gaze swept over the surroundings, her eyes reflecting the pain of those trapped within these walls. This is what they took from us, she whispered, her voice barely audible. Our freedom, our dignity to everything. Lucas gave her hand a reassuring squeeze, his voice low. Today, we start taking it back. They navigated the winding corridors, relying on Aliara's knowledge of the base's layout from her own time in similar facilities. It wasn't long before they reached the holding cells, a massive chamber filled with rows upon rows of cramped metal cages. Inside each cage were beings of various species, their faces hollow, their bodies weakened by years of labor and neglect. Aliera scanned the rows, her gaze searching until it fell upon a familiar figure in one of the cells. Kalen, the Teleran resistance fighter, lay on the cold floor, his breathing shallow, his once strong form reduced to a shadow of its former self. Kalen, Aliera whispered urgently, moving to the cell's bars. Kalen's eyes opened, his expression one of shock and disbelief. Aliera, is it really you? She nodded, her eyes shining with determination. We're getting you out of here, Kalen. We're going to free everyone. Lucas quickly disabled the lock, and Kalen staggered to his feet, gripping Aliera's arm for support. His gaze shifted to Lucas, a mixture of gratitude and curiosity in his tired eyes. You found an ally, he said, his voice weak but hopeful. A friend, Aliera corrected casting a warm glance at Lucas. And together, we're going to end this. As they moved to free more captives, an alarm suddenly blared, echoing through the base. Lucas's heart sank. Someone had tripped the security system. They had minutes, maybe seconds, before guards flooded the room. Get ready to fight! Lucas shouted, positioning himself by the door as Aliera and Kalen helped arm the newly freed captives with whatever makeshift weapons they could find. The first wave of guards burst into the room, blasters raised, their faces twisted with fury. Lucas fired, each shot precise and deadly, while Aliera moved beside him, her aim steady, her expression fierce. The captives joined in, overwhelming the guards with sheer numbers, their pent-up rage and desperation fueling their every strike. In the chaos, Varric's voice crackled over the base's intercom, his tone filled with venom. Gray, you think you can waltz in here and steal my prize? You're a fool. This is the end of the line for you. Lucas gritted his teeth, firing off another shot. You've underestimated us, Varric, he muttered, his voice hard. And you're about to pay for it. The battle raged on the guards falling back as more captives were freed and joined the fight. Aliara's telepathic ability surged, amplifying her focus and giving her allies a surge of courage and strength. The captives pressed forward, their numbers growing with each freed cell, their collective resolve unbreakable. At last, Lucas, Aliara, and Kalen reached the control room, where Varek awaited them, a smug, predatory grin on his face. He held a blaster aimed at Lucas, his finger poised on the trigger. Think you've won, Gray. Varric sneered. You're nothing but a pest, an insect beneath my boot. Lucas held his ground, his gaze steely. Maybe so, but even insects can sting. In a swift motion, Aliera extended her hand, her telepathic power surging as she focused her energy on Varric. He staggered, clutching his head as confusion and fear clouded his thoughts her abilities breaking down his mental defenses. Lucas seized the moment, lunging forward and disarming Varric with a swift, calculated strike. The blaster clattered to the floor, and Lucas delivered a final, powerful blow, sending Varric sprawling to the ground, defeated. The freed captives flooded into the control room, their expressions a mixture of relief and joy. Kalen stepped forward, his voice resonant, 
and filled with pride. Today marks the beginning of a new era. Today, we stand united, free from the chains of those who sought to break us. A cheer rose up from the crowd, filling the room with a sound that was both triumphant and defiant. Aliera stood by Lucas's side, her hand slipping into his, her gaze filled with gratitude and admiration. As they left the base, leading the liberated captives back to the Starlet Vanguard, Lucas felt a sense of fulfillment he hadn't felt in years. They had done it. They had struck a blow against the slavers, freeing not only Kalen but countless others who would join their cause. Aliera turned to him, her eyes shining. Thank you, Lucas, for everything. I couldn't have done this without you. He smiled, pulling her close, his voice filled with warmth. I promised I'd protect you, Aliera, and I meant every word. They shared a quiet, tender embrace, the weight of their journey and the battles they'd fought resting between them. Together, they had begun a movement, a fight for freedom that would ripple through the galaxy, a beacon of hope in the darkest corners of space. And as they set their course for the next destination, they knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, they would face them side by side, united by purpose, loyalty, and a love that had been forged 